Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another What's on Up the Bottom Mr. Shelf, and no, we're not going to be looking at that today, although that is really cool, and we'll get to that in a little bit. We're going to be looking at my Masters of the Universe Classic Shelf. thought I'd follow up on, without an episode last week, with a shelf that has gained a little bit of controversy over the, over the past few months with me and... Uh, a particular toy company and toy line, but a very fantastic group of figures. I love the way these guys look. I think they're easily some of the best Masters figures that we've ever gotten. I mean, well, I mean, unless you count statues, I suppose. If you like Masters of the Universe Classics, this is for you guys. So starting things off, a couple new ones that I've recently gotten. Of course, you have Prince Ad in there. Just being lazy, laying down, not doing anything. And he comes with Orko. Really fun group of uh, figures right there. I really like them. You got Zodak with a K hanging out in the background. Um, you got King Randor who looks like he's kind of falling over and reaching around Tila there. <laughs> the one and only Man at Arms. In the bottom there you uh, have Zor going around to the back. We have the uh, Battle Damaged He-Man or Battle Armor, whatever you want to call him. Hero, the man who started my collection off way back uh, way back last year, last year's San Diego Comic-Con. That's not the San Diego Comic-Con version, but that's when it came out, around that same time. So it's been about a year now. The Green Goddess coming around to the side. You see Princess Adora and She-Ra hanging out in the back. Oh, wait, don't look there. Don't, don't look there yet. The Moss Man, who surprisingly still smells very mossy. I'm really surprised, and... The other day, I was actually walking around my room, and I could really smell it. I don't know why. <laughs> I have to thank my friend J.T. Mitchell for that particular pose for Merman, where he's waving there. Keldor, which is a gorgeous figure. I really love the way that that figure looks. I think it's fantastic. Scareglow. We have Webstore and Whiplash. In the back there, you see the evil Hordak. The one and only Optic, <laughs> with one and only eye. Trap, or not trap jaw, but Triclops, Evil Lynn, and she comes with Screech. I think that's Screech. God, I don't remember. Beast Man, uh, a Doom Seeker, <laughs> and the one and only Boneface himself, Skeletor, sitting on his throne. Fantastic. And the Master of the Universe himself, He Man, just kind of hanging out with his sword. And of course, Battle Cat. A fantastic. Fantastic set of figures. If you guys like Masters of the Universe, as I said, this is a set that you're going to want to get. Uh, you're going to want to collect these. It's just the way it is. It's, it's tough to collect them from Maddie Collector, but it really, the, the figures themselves, oh, I, I hate to say it, the figures themselves, I mean, look at Scareglow. I mean, he's so cool. Uh, there's, it's, it's almost worth the hassle that we put up with through Maddie Collector. So, there you guys have it. Another episode of What's On Off the Bottom Mrs. Shelf. Stay tuned next week when I'll bring you something new. Who knows? I'll talk to you guys later.